Today I'm playing with Centric. Yo, what's up? We're each trying to earn gold medals before the other can. To score a point, you need to be the first to get gold on a level. First to majority wins. You might be wondering why I'm trying to beat Centric at his own game, since he regularly speedruns levels in Fall Guys. But I came into this with a plan, and it all starts with Skyline Stumble. You'll notice a difference in our playstyles here. I usually just hold forward and hope for the best, while Centric uses a lot of crazy tricks to shave off time on track attack. For example, he spins around after diving to gain some extra momentum. Since there's a lot of speed boosting mechanics on this level, the effect of this trick is magnified and nobody's even close to him. So how am I going to stand a chance against him? Information. Throughout this race, he volunteers info about what level he's on or what he's doing. I got track attack for the first round. Wait, am I supposed to tell you that? So it's to my advantage if I can get him to talk without letting him know what I'm up to. Bumping into this beam could have set me back, but luckily everyone else did too. The key here is that I don't have to be faster than Stentric, I just have to be faster than everyone else in my lobby. So if I go in a straight line while limiting my sideways movements, it usually works out. As as I approach these buttons, it's important to note that the barrier at the end spins clockwise. This means that it'll open up on the right side first, so I head that way. After I slide down, the beams cover the entirety of this circle, but staying on the inside only knocks me down a little if I get hit. Finally, I need to get launched straight up the middle like a pinball. Missing one launch here could ruin everything, but I got the perfect angle both times and secured my first gold medal. Bean Hill Zone rarely shows up since it wasn't introduced with any of the regular seasons. Although Stentric had an opportunity to get another medal here, his lack of experience on this one caused him to struggle. Once he realized it wasn't possible to get first, he decided to back out of the lobby instead of waiting. I pieced together that his strategy was to monopolize all of the race rounds we get at the beginning. Meanwhile, my strategy is to make deeper runs, for reasons you'll see as we go. Now we're both facing some of the new levels in Season 3. The key for me on this one is to take the optimal path and avoid bumping into obstacles or other players. However, I had trouble here at the start since we're all bunched together. Bumping into those players in the hoop cost me some time, but I can make up for it by taking the top path here. Even though this way is slightly slower, it leads to a gold hoop at the end which is worth three times as much. The trade-off is that even though I seem to be in front of everyone here, I ended up behind those who took the bottom path. Despite passing directly over this speed booster, I didn't get boosted. I'm running into more problems than I would like, but luckily Centric is struggling right now as well. He missed the first portal at the start, which cost him some time. Even so, he was able to quickly catch up to everyone else on the third puzzle. I don't know how he was able to trace this one so quickly with this ball in the way, but there was one other guy with him on the last puzzle. This puzzle path is looking real good, I'll be honest with you. He jinxed himself though, and chose the wrong portal. Back to my perspective, I'm doing much better on my second lap, so I made up for the time I lost on the first one. Even so, the window for finishing first is really tight on this level, so as I'm coming up on my last hoop, this happens. <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? What? No shot that just happened! Centric backed out of Puzzle Path once he was too far behind, so we're still at 1-1. Next, we have some Season 5 levels. One of the reasons I'm prioritizing deeper runs is so I have access to survival rounds, which give you a gold medal just for surviving. However, this one is particularly difficult because there's three rhinos, and if one of them charges at you, there aren't many ways to escape it. As the round progresses, there are less people left to target, so it becomes increasingly difficult as you go. Eventually, I realized it was a matter of time before I would be charged at, so I made a preemptive jump to this lily pad. Turns out I was right, and I barely managed to survive. At this point, I should have jumped outside again, but staying in the center eliminated me in the last 10 seconds. As for Stentric, he keeps jinxing himself. I got literally a god spawn, dude. This is insane. This will be very easy. No! No! What am I doing? He made up for his mistake by using the big Yetus, but there's still a few people in front of him, including a golden dragon. There's a golden dragon in my game? Bruh. They got held up by the rhinos while Cedric snuck up behind them, but when he made it to the top, he saw the one person in front of him cross the finish line. Now we get the two most popular speedrunning levels. My level involves going up and down a lot of slopes, and I realized going up the slope is rather slow, so I can save time by jumping when the slope goes up to keep my momentum. I didn't need to take any shortcuts, just kept it simple and made sure to hit all the boosts. Centric got a great spawn and knows the optimal route on Lily Leapers. Free gold. Even though he messed up in the middle, his experience with this level made up for it. We both got our gold medals to make it 2-2. Two
I got destroyed on stomping grounds again, but at least it was quick so I didn't waste a lot of time. Stentric got another try at Puzzle Path, and he has the lead throughout most of the level. Yet again, he can't help but jinx himself. I might get the gold here. I'm doing way better than I thought I would. On the last puzzle, there was a ball interfering with the path, and by the time he pushed it out of the way, this happened. No! No! This penguin beat me by like a second! I've been stuck in the middle of the crowd for a while on wall guys, but some precise jumps allowed me to pass most of them. I went around the side of this block, because I'd get blocked by other guys if I tried the front. By the time I'm over the third wall, there was someone way ahead of us, but they missed the last jump because they dove too late. I tried to do it without diving at all and missed, so I thought I was out of the running for first. Lucky for me, the two guys ahead of me started fighting each other, so I lined myself up and dove early this time. That puts my third point on the board. Stentric was busy speedrunning Treetop Tumble. Something I found interesting is that he switches from the top path to the bottom halfway through. Despite getting hit by that ball, he ties it up with a near perfect run. We're both about to gain some momentum here. I'm on Pipe Dream, where I'm at a big advantage because I only have to beat 8 other players. Even so, I had a bad start here as I got hit by some paintballs. Coming out of the next pipe, I didn't regain balance in time to keep going, so I hit a couple of the walls here too. There's one guy ahead of me, but he's making some very slight errors which allow me to overtake him after the final pipe gives me a good launch. We're still really close to each other and he even tries to grab me. All we can do is wait at this final beam. I made sure to let go lower than usual, which gives me a straight trajectory towards the finish line. Stentric got whirly gig and I don't have a ton of analysis for you here, he just destroyed everyone, so we're still tied at 4-4. This is a really pivotal moment, as Stentric gets an easy survival round where he's basically guaranteed gold. But I made it to my first final, and winning a final is actually worth 3 points instead of 1. So I'm either getting a big lead here or falling behind. My lobby is no joke though, there was only one elimination before the beam started spinning really fast. I actually overcorrected to this increase in speed, and thought I should stay behind the top beam instead of going in front of it. That cost me big time. Stentric finished Blast Lantis to take the lead. I'm trying to tie it up on Hit Parade while Stentric struggles on DoorDash. To be fair, there's not much he can do when a Patrick in front of him gets every door right. For the record, that Patrick had less than a 1% chance of getting all 5 doors. Although my run is near perfect, no one else is messing up at the front either. That's what happens when we're playing levels that are 2 years old. If I turn sideways at this last part, I'll lose speed, so I have to go straight and hope it works out. I was just slightly off, and just like Centric, I lost to someone who didn't make any mistakes. Now I have a chance to steal Puzzle Path from Centric, who already attempted it twice. For the first few puzzles, I just followed everyone else because if a bunch of people are using the portal, they're usually right. On the fourth one, I had to start solving the puzzles myself. I got a great landing spot where the path starts, and it twists all the way around so it's hard for anyone else to follow it. When I got through, there was one guy way ahead of us who jumped into a portal. Luckily, they were wrong, and I jumped through the correct portal at the same time as this other guy. I dove earlier at the finish line which made the difference. Centric had another flawless run on part promenade, keeping his one point lead. Fortunately, I got block party, and even on a difficult variant of the level, I was able to survive and tie us up again at 6-6. This led me to fruit shoot, where I had the most calculated movements possible and moved the exact amount I needed to dodge the fruits. This was working perfectly until I got nudged by an orange before it even hit the ground. In hindsight, there was a Yidus at the start I should have used to my advantage. While I was doing these levels, Centric had a snafu. When he won Treetop Tumble, he marked Tundra Run instead by accident. Then when he got Tundra Run... Wait, you already have Tundra Run? You already have it. I already have it? Bruh. <laughs> His next round was Treetop Tumble again, which he already won but didn't realize it. This mix-up is fine because I didn't get either of those levels yet, so essentially he just wasted a bunch of time. This is my chance to strike back, as I get roll off for the final. I absolutely need this win to put myself 3 points ahead, and I'm in the perfect position to do so. Since there's 6 other players and most of them were eliminated early, I felt so comfortable when I got to the 1v1 that I started grabbing the other player, and then Karma struck me down as I I ran into this wall. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Centric got the version of Stomping Grounds, which has a disc in the middle. That disc keeps him safe from the rhinos, so he got that one. I have yet another chance to tie it up here as I get Dizzy Heights. Despite getting bumped at the beginning, I carved out a considerable lead. You can tell how the Season 1 level design is different from the others because I literally just hold forward and jump for the entire level. Centric got roll off immediately after I failed on it, so he won and put 3 points on the board. Another playlist was active called Hexagon Trials, where you have to win 3 rounds of Hexagon to get a gold medal. The problem is it only counts as a final when you win the 3rd round, so if I don't win at all, I waste a bunch of time that could have been used to beat other levels. And Centric actually mentioned to me that he was about to go for this. I'm about to go into Hexagon Trials. And instead of leaving to try and get it before him, that idea flew right over my head. Ultimately, he won and made the score 13 to 7 when it could have been 10 to 10. So you might look at the score and think that I'm still in this, right? There are 37 levels in the round pool, 7 of which are finals. This means there's 51 total points when you count 3 for each final, and the majority of that is 26. But you're not going to believe how badly this ended. I kept getting levels we already beat. God damn it, I got a roll off for my final. I just couldn't put it together on the remaining levels like Hoop Shoot, Fruit Shoot, and Air time. I even got 96% on one attempt until I fell down and lost. But the worst offender has to be this attempt on Hoverboard Heroes. Oh my god! Ultimately, the race was not competitive after that, and we went from 7 to 7 all the way to 26 to 7. Have yourself a good 2023. I'll see you in the next video.